Happy at his work, devoted to his family, Fred nevertheless had a competing interest to which he was hopelessly addicted. Well, I keep telling her, you know, there's not every woman who's got a steamroller named after it, you know. How much time do you spend on the fashion? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, his breakfast with it, his dinner with it, his tea with it. Yeah. Yeah. Traction engines are good things, they don't answer by. Mm. <laughs> I've never fell off the big chimney, you know. You only fall off one of them once, like. <laughs> really, you, you're dicing with death. You know, you've got to have a stout heart to take it on on your own. You know, you don't need anything, only a sledgehammer and, you know, a bit of lunacy, like, and you're in business. Like I work in this shed sometimes till one o'clock in the morning. We well, brought the beer as well as the coal. brought the beer as well as the coal. You brought the coal first. How long has it been smoky? I fell off a pair of steps in a little girl's bedroom and landed on a drilling machine and knocked myself unconscious and, you know, that's about the only... Injury I've ever done myself. Bottom part, definitely, it's got it by the watsies. I, I wouldn't say that I've ever done it drunk, but if you were banging away with a big hammer all day, a few pints, you know, don't do you any harm, you know. I think we've definitely gone too bloody soft. Things were really bad in the 1930s, you know, people were actually hungry. You know, none of these people are hungry and have no bloody shoes. They'll never get any better until they bloody fire them into line, you know, like National Service or something like that. My main competition is the, the dynamite men. 400 foot little and 500 foot bigger. Well, there's none of them done with the pit props and the big fire, like, you know, like they did it in 1899. Which, um, you know, I like doing it that way because it's more spectacular, you know, and it's, um, you get a bit of a build up to it. Whereas when you press that plunger, boom, that's it, you know. Uh, it's over with, you know, you've not really done so much, you know, you just destroyed something that it took a few men a long time to erect and a lot of hard bloody sweat and labour. And when they finished it off, no doubt, they put the Union Jack up and you've just blown it up with pressing a button. Whereas if you've got to hack your way through three foot of brickwork at the bottom with a few hundred tons squeezing on it, you know, um, you know, it's not died too easy, has it? Jeez, what is it again? Wow. Unbelievable this, we shouldn't be here today, Harry. You can't swing it about now. We're rocking about three inches before each way. Insurance men and me don't mix, you know. I mean, the thing is that I don't intend dying, you know. Uh, this equal rights thing now, isn't there, you know. I mean, never get any of them down pits or at the top of a factory chimney, do you? They're <laughs> nowhere. According to neighbours round here, it well, looks all right, that now, doesn't it, Donald? Okay. Yeah. Do you like that? <laughs> it's time we went for a pint, actually. Give us a kiss, love. <laughs> you all right, now? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, isn't that? It's a year, we're a good one. It's got a lovely draft on it. <laughs> Don't think we'll get a yard a day off. No, sir. Just about down for June holiday. Mm. Oh, it'll be lucky and all. This whole valley from like Salford to Bolton were paving the way into heaven when they built some of these in the 1870s, you know. Like. But there's no way it's going to fall down no more. Oh. They're there when we're all dead. Uh...